So we'll find um, a nice comfy seat. I, I do have a cushion to sit on for the meditation and breathing practice part of tonight. So if you do have um, a big cushion or a blanket that you can sit on, that's really nice to make it a little bit comfier. Um, if you have a blanket, if you just kind of fold it so it's about this size. And then if you have another cushion or another blanket that you can fold, so it's just a little bit of height. And then, so you sit on the edge of this second blanket or pillow. So the idea is that you're tilting your tailbone downwards and ideally the hips are above the knees. <clears throat> so the blanket that's on the floor, that's to um, just protect the ankles. So sometimes when we're sitting for long periods of time, we can get lots of pins and needles in our ankles. So if we sit on this extra bit of cushion, or if you're on the carpet, you know, if your mat's on the carpet, then you might not need that. But it just gives that extra little bit of padding because we will be sitting um, for quite a long time this evening just with the breathing and the meditation. So I'll just give you a couple more minutes to get that ready. And then the first part of our practice will be our stretches anyway, so you don't need to be completely set up for the first sort of 15 minutes. But I'll give you a few extra little moments here. A little hot, actually. <laughs> All right. So when we're ready, we'll just find a nice comfy seat. You can sit on the edge of that second blanket or pillow just to prop yourself up. That just allows the, the spine to sit nice and tall. And we'll just take a few minutes here. So I like to rest my palms on my knees with the palms face up, joining the index finger and thumb together in Yana Mudra. And then closing down through the eyes. And notice how as soon as you find your seat here, as soon as you find this mudra, as soon as you close the eyes, that these gestures just naturally drop you down, settle you in, and prepare you for this practice. Gently bringing the awareness to the breath. Softly floating in and out of the nose. And notice how the breath enters the heart and the belly as you breathe. And by gently floating the awareness to the breath, just watching as it flows in on the inhale and flows out on the exhale. The mind is already beginning to settle. Notice how the activities of the day begin to float out from your awareness. as you steady your consciousness in the rhythm of the breath. And slowly breathing the palms to press together in front of the heart in Anjali Mudra. And I love beginning these sessions with our live stream classes just by taking a moment to connect in with each other. And so though we're separated by physical distance, 
you know, we're not able to practice together in the same physical space, know that we remain connected energetically and spiritually as we practice this beautiful practice together. We breathe together, we move together, and we center ourselves together. Know that that connection, those vibrations, that energy between us is still shared. And so we further unite our energies this evening with a single sound of awe. Taking a deep breath in to prepare. And a long breath out. Inhaling for on. this practice, the center, to drop in and to connect not only to each other, but also to our higher selves, to our infinite divine selves. So we're gently blinking the eyes open. So for cats, starting with a little glute stretch, we'll just remove our cushions to the side, just for the first little stretching sequence. So taking both legs long to begin with, and then crossing the left ankle underneath the right knee, so it's nice and far away from the body, and then crossing the right shin in front. So it's a nice boxy shape. The shins are far away from the groin. We're not crossing our ankles, we're crossing out the shins. The right shin is front, is in front. And you can even walk the ankles just a little bit further away from each other. If you have super, super open glutes, you can stack that right shin on top, but that's not available to most of you. <laughs> so take a deep breath in here. And exhale, start to walk the palms all the way forward as you fold over the thighs, over the shins, and allow the head to rest down on the earth or on the palm. The target muscle here is a stretch in the right glute. So allowing the upper body to drape and melt over the lower body. Close down the eye. Drop into the sensations of the pose. Knowing that in our yoga practice, it never matters what the pose looks like or how far you can go. Simply matters how you feel, how you breathe, and how you react to the pose. Are you able to find that element, that intention of surrender? And then as we gently stretch the body, we prepare it for our sitting practice. Letting the energy move within first before we allow the energy to settle. One more deep breath in. And a long breath out. And inhale, slowly walk the palms back towards the hips as you gently roll the spine up, one vertebrae at a time. And exhale, just release those legs long. Nice. 
This time crossing the right ankle underneath the left knee first. And then cross that left shin in front. Again, you might like to walk the ankles further away from each other. Nice boxy shape here, shins away from the hips. Taking a long breath in, we lengthen the spine. And exhale, start to walk those palms all the way forward. And then gently dropping the heart down, dropping the head down as we surrender into the stretch in the left glute. And so in each pose, can you direct the breath into wherever you feel tightness, into wherever you feel a stretch? Can you allow the breath to softly release that area? And so let yourself go. Finding that ability to surrender down. To let everything wash away. As you continue to direct the consciousness to the breath and to the body away from the mind and into the heart. And taking one more deep breath. And a long breath out. And now gently walk the palms all the way back to the hips, slowly rolling up. One vertebrae at a time. Exhale. Notice that the legs are long now. And inhale, take the arms nice and wide. Exhale, cross the arms across the body with the right arm on top. And walk the fingertips around. If you can grab your shoulder blades, that's fine. If not, don't worry. Just grab onto where you can, maybe the shoulders. And then we'll take a deep breath in here. Exhale, tuck the chin into the chest and then start to round down the spine. So folding forward like a little ball. So we're not shooting towards the feet, we're shooting towards the pelvis. So the target muscle is to find space in between the shoulder blades. This is an area in the body that's really hard to stretch but gets really tight and tense in so many of us. You can even add a little sway side to side, or back and forth, or any other movements that feel nice here. But really try and expand the breath into the space between the shoulder blades. On the inhale, can you make that gap even larger? On the exhale, can you allow the tension and tightness to melt away? One more inhale. And a long exhale. Inhale, gently rolling up. Reach those arms wide. And exhale, this time take the left forearm on top. Take those arms or those fingertips to grab the shoulder blades or the shoulders, deep breath in. Exhale, chin to chest and really find a rounding through the spine. Feel the space between the shoulder blades grow larger. Folding in like a little ball. Pour the breath into the space between the shoulder blades and expand that area. Just here for one more deep breath in. 
a long breath out. Inhale, slowly rolling all the way up. Exhale, find a comfy seat, so crossing the legs again. Deep breath in through the nose, feel the spine lengthen. Exhale, drop the right ear down to the right shoulder and walk the left fingertips out to the left. Really feel the stretch down the left side of the neck. And keep that right ear drawing down to the right shoulder. As you inhale, just lift the chin an inch. And exhale, lower the chin an inch. Close the eyes if that feels nice. Inhale, gentle lift. Exhale, gentle lower. Inhale, little lift. And exhale, lower. Slowly melting the chin to the chest, the left palm to the knee. Inhale the head all the way up to neutral. Feel the crown lengthen to the heavens. Exhale, this time drop the left ear to the left shoulder. Walking those right fingertips out towards the right now. Feel the stretch down the right side of the neck. Keeping the left ear drawing to the left shoulder. Inhale, just lift the chin an inch. Exhale, lower an inch. Inhale, little lift. Exhale, gentle lower. Inhale to lift. And exhale, lower. And slowly taking the chin to the chest, the right palm to the right knee. And inhale the head all the way up to a neutral position. Nice. So we'll set ourselves up now with our props. So comfy sitting on that large cushion or folded out blanket. And then on the edge of your second cushion or your second folded blanket. Next week I'll use blankets so that I can show you what I mean in case it's a little confusing. <laughs> nice. So the breathing practice that we're going to be using tonight is called Nadi Shodan or alternate nostril breathing. So this is a really beautiful harmonizing balancing breath. So we'll take our index finger and middle finger of our right hand and place it on the third eye, the space between the eyebrows. The right finger rests on the right nostril, and the middle finger and index finger rest on the left nostril. Let that right shoulder relax. Let the left palm rest on the left knee with the palm face up. So we breathe alternately through the nostrils, and this harmonizes how much energy how much oxygen each hemisphere of the brain receives. And so balances our energy, balances yin and yang, masculine, feminine, sun and moon within. So we start by blocking off through the right nostril. Inhale through the left for two, three, four, Block left, exhale right, two, three, four. Inhale right, two, three, four. Block right, exhale left, two, three, four. That's one round. Inhale left, two, Three, four, block left, exhale right, two, three, four, inhale right, two, three, four, block right, 
Exhale, left. Two, three, four. Inhale, left. Two, three, four. Block left. Exhale, right. Two, three, four. Inhale, right. Two, three, four. Block right. Exhale, left. Two, three, four. Inhale, left. Block left, exhale right. Inhale right. Block right, exhale left. Inhale left. Block left, exhale right. Inhale right. Block right, exhale left. Inhale left. Block left, exhale right. Inhale right. Block right, exhale left. Inhale left. Block left, exhale right. Inhale right. Block right, exhale left. Inhale left. Block left, exhale right. Inhale right. Block right and exhale left. Gently release the right palm to the right. Breathing through both nostrils. Feeling the balance the harmony within. Now I invite you to visualize the energy of the third eye, the space between the eyebrows. Our third eye chakra. The roots of this chakra pierces the brain. And they connect the left and right hemisphere. So I invite you now to visualize the breath pouring in through the third eye. Running down the roots of the third eye. Feeling the left and right hemispheres of the brain connected. And on the inhale, as you feel the breath pour into the mind, visualize the breath as a pure white line. As the breath enters the mind, it illuminates the mind. The mind becomes a light ignited in this incandescent light. So continuing to visualize the breath 
pouring in and out of the third eye. With all of your awareness, the entirety of your consciousness, concentrated in that little space between the eyebrows. Yeah, we breathe together, exhaling completely, inhaling into the third eye, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, feel the mind illuminate and purify. Exhale, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Release control of the breath. Allow it to effortlessly flow in and out of the third eye. The entirety of the consciousness concentrated at this energetic center. Feel the incandescent light of the breath fill the mind. Feel the mind empty of thoughts. Feel the mind free from your day. Continue to watch the breath as an observer. Watch it naturally effortless flow. Keep the spine straight. Keep the shoulders soft. Mind open. Just 
mind begins to wander your back to the space between the eyebrows, your back to the floor, the breath. Slowly now, allow the awareness to drift to the crown of the head. You're seeing a tingling of energy right on the tip of the head, crown of the head. Feeling that energy of the crown chakra now. So I invite you to visualize a silver cord connecting the crown to the heavens above. Through this cord, you receive divine energy, blissful energy. So shifting the flow of breath now to the crown of the head. On the inhale, visualize the energy, the blissful divine energy being sent down this cord, down into the crown, down into your body. Each inhale fills the body, fills the spirit with this blissful energy. And on the exhale, visualize your being sending that same blissful energy back up the core, up towards the heaven. Knowing that you are divine. Divine is within you. Divine is within me. The divine is within everything. So continue to feel this blissful divine energy. Trickle down the core, swelling the body, swelling the spirit on the inhale. On the exhale, visualize yourself sending that energy, that bliss, all the way back up, silver cord, towards the heavens. Breathe together again. Inhaling for two. Three, four, five, six, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, exhale. Two, 
three, four, five, six, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, breathe the energy into your being. Exhale, share it out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, breathe the energy down into your being from the heavens. Exhale, share it out. Continue in your own time. Can you feel the energy as a crown, a silver cord connecting you to the heavens? And slowly release all control, release the breath, release the core. Allow yourself to flow within 
the space. Feel your consciousness drifting away from the confines of this physical body. Feel your consciousness drifting into the void, the eternal, blissful, nothing. In the nothingness, in the emptiness, there is complete fullness, pure wholeness. Feel yourself drift into this space and breathe here. Find the bliss. Feel the bliss saturate every cell, every particle, every vibration of you. The mind wanders, allow it to become harnessed once again by the breath or the third eye, the silver cord connected to the ground. If you're able to remain in the spaciousness, the emptiness, the void, remain there. Slowly let ourselves gently come back to the body. Let the breath lengthen and deepen. And then we allow yourself to fold all the way forward. You can move the legs into a different position if they're feeling a little uncomfortable just allow yourself to fold all the way forward so when we fold forward we ground ourselves back letting the palms touch the earth bringing ourselves back down to earth Slowly inhale, all the way up to sitting. The legs are feeling uncomfortable. You can release the cross of the legs. Just allow the palms to press together in front of the heart. 
Closing once again, connected. Connected by energy, connected by breath, connected by spirit. Closing with a single sound of arm, taking a deep breath in to prepare. And a long breath out. Inhaling for arm. Oh. Breathing the thumbs to press the third eye, the space between the eyebrows. Know that you are light, you are love, and you are pure consciousness. Let me bow in your head. Namaste. Thank you.